The Vegan Market is a marketplace to find all things vegan on March 15th, starting at 11 a.m. at the Center for the Arts at the Armory. This market focuses on vegan products and food that are crafted by New England artists, chefs, and bakers. Food, baked goods, apothecary, art, swag, pottery, candles, and jewelry from about 30 local businesses will be available. The Armory will also be selling vegan beer and wine. It's free to the public and all are welcome from vegans to the vegan curious. Irish Film Festival Boston takes place March 19th through the 22nd at the Somerville Theater. Established in 1999, the festival celebrates and promotes global Irish cinema and has become the largest event of its kind outside of Ireland. It provides exhibition and distribution of these films, educational opportunities for filmmakers, awards for exceptional films, and production of original documentaries on contemporary Irish cinema. For film selections and an event schedule, you should go to irishfilmfestival.com. Violinist Joshua Peckins returns to the Somerville Public Library on Thursday, March 19th at 7 p.m. with a continuation of his Invitation to Bach and Izayi lecture recital series. This season pairs Bach's D minor partita with Izayi's fifth solo sonata, two of the most virtuosic and expressive works ever written for the violin. This is solo violin music at its best, and this program is sponsored by the Friends of the Somerville Public Library, and for more information you should go to Somerville publiclibrary.org. All women, girls, and non-binary folks are invited to join the ladies of Kamikaze at Kamikaze in Davis Square for some awesome board games. Game day on March 22nd at noon is a safe space for all ages to come together, have fun, learn new games, and reshape the gaming community. It's retro gaming at its finest. Old school retro board games will abound and you're encouraged to bring your old favorites. No Monopoly though. The featured game will be Payday, beloved by the event organizers. More information is at kamikaze.com. Paintings by Ken Kagami and Trevor Shimizu reveal the humorous ways that masculinity and artistic mastery are performed. Their show, Masterpieces, is on display through March 29th at Anthony Greeny at 438 Somerville Ave. The closing reception is Thursday, March 26th from 3 to 5, and more information is available at anthonygreeny.xyz. After Hours Adult Folktale Telling returns March 29th at 7 p.m. to the Armory for their spring feature, After Hours, this will end well. Bring your folk tales, legends, and myths to share at the open mic, and then sit back and let April Grant regale you with tales of daring in her feature, This Will End Well. Who doesn't enjoy a fictional character's poor life choices? These tales tell the people who saw what they wanted and went for it, and what happened to them afterward. April peruses this theme through multiple traditions. True to the adult in adult folktale telling, these stories will contain themes of ambition, flawed humanity and power, as well as sex, poo, and fart jokes. You can look forward to at least one song and one story where everybody gets to shout together. On Sunday, April 5th at 11 a.m., head to Bow Market for the Maker Supply Market to shop for all of your favorite makers' leftover supplies, seconds, and discontinued stock at a discount. With Makin Men as your host, join them from 11 to 3 for shopping, chatting, crafting, snacking, and drinking, and shopping, and snacking. Snack, sip, and peruse the lobby areas and comedy studio where 20 plus vendors will be selling their wares, supplies, and whatever else crafty they bring to the show. Yum! A Taste of Immigrant City is the Welcome Project's annual fundraiser held at the Center for the Arts of the Armory in Somerville. Yum! is a huge part of what makes the Welcome Project's daily programming possible. This year, Yum! takes place on Thursday, April 2nd at the Center for the Arts at the Armory and promises a fun night that offers the opportunity to taste delicious and authentic cuisines from countries such as Mexico, Ethiopia, and India and to participate in a silent auction and some raffles. Yum! also offers the opportunity to learn from and engage with many of the people and initiatives that strengthen our intercultural community. The Welcome Project hopes that you will be joining them and the local immigrant communities as you celebrate their tireless work and their volunteers. More information is at welcomeproject.org. Fun, fun, fun on a Saturday afternoon for music lovers and vinyl hounds. Buy cool records, hear cool records, swap cool records, or just come and hang out at the Primitive Sounds Vinyl Record Show at Brass Union on Saturday, April 4th from 3 to 8. 
Free admission, bring cash for your records as you explore soul, surf, rockabilly, R&B, popcorn, exotica, and much more. Have a drink and dance if you like, because the bar and dance floor will be open. And the DJs slash record dealers will be spinning fantastic sounds throughout the event. Don't miss your opportunity to buy cool platters from Dinos Mikios, Forrest P, Jason and Stacy Thornton, Jimmy B, John Funky, Kogar and the Swingin' Ape, Mark Francis, and so much more. Visit the Somerville Winter Farmer's Market for only a few more weeks. This and every Saturday from 9.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Center for the Arts at the Armory. Presenting the very best variety of products from New England farms and specialty vendors including vegetables, fruit, meat, cheese, fish, baked goods, and lots more. Live music, delicious treats in two cafe areas, and a chance to meet friends. Chase away the chill of even the coldest winter day. Snap and EBT cards are accepted and the market is happy to provide a weekly $10 Snap match. More information is at somwintermarket.org.